Welcome children. Come we will see the next topic. Take your textbook. Take page number 6. Okay. Page number 6. Proper fraction. Okay. Proper fraction. So, what is proper fraction? Proper fraction is a fraction. Okay. In that the numerator is always less than the denominator. Okay. In a proper fraction the numerator is always less than the denominator. Okay. That is a proper fraction. You know no fraction will have what numerator as well as denominator. The upper part is numerator and the lower part is denominator. That is the numerator represents the what? The what? Represents number of parts which have been under consideration. Which have been under consideration and the denominator represents the total number of equal number of parts. Total number of equal parts. Okay. So, come with that is proper fraction is what should be the numerator is always less than denominator because the total part to be taken is always less than what the total parts no then only we can take we can we take more than that huh? it is not there in the whole means how can we take more than that parts no more than the whole we can't take no that is why the numerator should be always less than the denominator ok understood children that is proper fraction ok see here Look here, give a proper fraction whose numerator is 5 and denominator is 7. So, 5 by 7 is the fraction, proper fraction. Okay. See here, whose numerator and denominator add up to 10. How many fractions of this kind can you make? Okay. See here, next one, whose denominator is 9 and numerator is 5. Numerator is 5 and denominator is 9. Okay, that is a fraction. Clear? Understood, children. See, see here, fill up these, fill up using one of these that is greater than, smaller than, or equal to. Look here, we know 1 by 2 that is a what? That is always less than 1, no? Yeah, because what? Half part is what? Less than 1, no? Yes. 3 by 5, this is also what? less than 1 because this all the proper fraction are less than 1 less than the whole that you know 3 by 5 is a proper fraction 3 is the numerator and denominator is 5 and numerator is less than denominator so it is a proper fraction so it is less than 1 and 1 is what 7 by 8 proper fraction but it is always less than 1 so 1 is greater 4 by 4 is nothing but 1 only so it is equal ok and 2005 by 2005 is equal only ok understood children clear so this is what same number divided by same number is 1 only no so that is equal to 1 ok come children next list, let us read about improper and mixed fractions we saw about proper fraction no yes proper fraction is something but the fraction having numerator less than denominator improper and, and also it is less than 1 ok less than the whole Improper fraction and mixed fraction. Okay, improper fraction and mixed fraction. So, what is improper fraction? Come, we'll see here. Look here. See, the numerator is the fractions where the numerator is bigger than the denominator are called improper fraction. Okay, improper fraction. Okay, the fractions where the numerator is bigger than the denominator are called improper fraction. See here for example, you say 3 by 2, 12 by 7, 8 by 15 are all improper fraction. Okay. See these are all improper fraction because here the numerator are greater than okay, or bigger than the numerator denominators. Okay. That is why they are called improper fraction. Come we will see about mixed fraction. So, come to next page children, we will come to next page. Mixed fraction. A mixed, look here, come to next page. See, mixed fractions. A mix, mixed fraction has a combination of a whole number and a part. Okay, whole and a part. Okay, so what is a mixed fraction? Look here, fractions such as 1, 1 by 4 and 2, 1 by 4. Here, whole number is also there, fraction is also there. Okay. It also has a whole as well as a part. 1 is the whole, 1 by 4 is the part, 2 is the whole, 1 by 2 is the part. So, mixed fraction, what? A mixed fraction has a combination of a whole number as well as a fraction number. Okay. And 
has two children. See here, express the following as mixed fractions. Okay, what we should do? We should convert the improper fraction into mixed fraction. Okay, see here, 17 by 4, 11 by 3, 27 by 5, 7 by 3. These are all what? Improper fractions. Okay, okay, understood, children. Improper fractions. So, what we should do? We should convert it into Okay, mixed fraction. How to do for that? We should divide. Okay, see here, we should divide the numerator by the denominator. First, for example, take the first one 17 by 4. 17, we should divide it by 4. Okay, okay, 4 table, 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8, 4 threes are 12, 4 fours are 16. Okay, 4 fours are 16, and 1 is the remainder. Okay, so we can write this 17 by 4 as okay. See here, this is equal to the remainder you should what? How to write it? 1 is the remainder, no. See here, what is the quotient here? 4 is the quotient and 1 is the remainder and what? Yes, divisor as the denominator. So, we can write, divide it and write the quotient as the whole part and remainder as the numerator and the divisor as the what? Denominator. So, we can get the mixed fraction for this improper fraction. Okay. Understood? Okay. Understood children. Look here. See, this is the formula. How to write? Uh, see, divide it and write the quotient as the whole part and what? Uh, the remainder as the uh, numerator and divisor as the denominator. Okay. Remainder as the numerator and divisor as the denominator. Understood children? So, in this way, we can check. Okay, quotient remainder divisor. Okay, so this you keep in mind. Come, we'll go to the second example. Express the following mixed fraction as the improper fraction. See here, this is the mixed fraction. How to convert it into improper fraction? What we should do? No? See here, two three by four. No, two three by four. Okay. See what we should do? We should take the what denominator we should multiply it with the whole number and we should write it ok. Come we will see that. See this is the formula you should write the denominator as itself and take the whole number into denominator plus numerator ok. So, we can convert the mix what a mixed fraction into improper fraction using this formula ok whole number into denominator. See here you take the denominator and multiply it with the what whole number and add the numerator. Whole number into denominator plus numerator by denominator gives the improper fraction. Okay, improper fraction. Understood children? Okay. Come here children, if you take exercise 7.2, first main I will teach you, second main express the following as mixed fraction, look here, first one we will take 20 by 3 is the mixer water, Pro improper fraction. So, we, what we should do, we should convert it into mixed fraction, take the first sum 20 by 3 is the given fraction, it is a improper fraction because numerator is greater than denominator. So, what we should do, do division, ok, 3 by 3, divide 20 by 3, ok. So, in 3 table you tell, what are, yes, 6 3 is a 18, ok, 7 3 is a 21, ok. So, now you take and you subtract now, see here that you know, no division you know, no, no need to tell all the things. So, 20 minus 18, 2. So, what is the, how to write it in what? Uh, mixed fraction, take the what? Quotient as the whole part and write the remainder as the numerator and take the divisor as the denominator. So, this is the what answer for this improper fraction. So, 20 by 3 is nothing but 6, 2 by 3, ok, 6, 2 by 3, ok. See, this as the whole part and 2 remainder as the numerator and 3 as the denominator ok express the following as improper fraction 7 3 by 4 first one I will do 
okay, 7 3 by 4. So, according to formula what we should do? We should take the whole part and we should multiply it with the denominator and we should add the numerator okay, and the denominator you write as itself. Okay. 7 4 is how much? 28 okay, plus 3 by 4 that is nothing but 31 by 4 is the improper fraction for this water mixer fraction. Come children, we will see now go to page number 4 okay, fraction on a number line. Okay, fraction on the number line. Number line we know no children as yes, how to draw number line for what natural numbers, whole numbers that we know no. Yes, okay. For integers and all we saw no what negative numbers. Okay, we saw now we will see the fraction what uh, number line, fraction on the number line. How we can write denote what how, can, how we can what write fractions on the number line. Okay, look here children see here this is the number line. Okay, that we know no number line. It starts from 0, if it is if you take a whole number number line it starts from 0 and it will go on and we, this is 1 you consider and this is 1 by 2, okay, 1 by 2, half of the, okay, we can denote half like this, no, yes, okay. See here if you take number line this, see this is 1, that is nothing but 3 by 3 is 1, no, yes, 3 by 3 is 1, okay, this is 1 by 3, this is 2 by 3. So, this is 3 by 3. Okay. See here if you take this point 1 by 3, this is 2 by 3, 3 by 3 is here. Okay. So, in this way we can represent the num fractions on the number line. Look here, see here the third number line, look here, this is 3 by 3, 1 by 3, 2 by 3. Okay. In this way we can draw, we can what represent fractions on the number line. Come, we will go to the exercise 7.2. Look here children, exercise 7.2, draw number lines and locate the points on them. Say I am going to draw a number line and locate the points on them. I am going to locate the fractions on this, okay. Look here, this is a number line that we know and it starts from 0 if you take, okay. See here and it will go on and I am going to represent these fractions, okay. See here, if you take 4 by 4, that is nothing but what? 4 by 4. 4 by 4 that is nothing but e that is equal to 1 okay that is equal to 1 no yes okay so what we should do see here this if it is 4 by 4 is equal to 1 I will take equal parts it okay see this as what 1 by 4 okay and this as 2 by 4 and this part as 3 by 4 okay 3 by 4. Okay, children. See, 4 by 4 is 1. Okay, 4 by 4 is 1. This is 4 by 4. So, we can what, divide it into 1 by this part is 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4, 4 by 4. So, the, so we represent, we locate this point 3 by 4, 1 by 4. Well, how to represent 1 by 2? 1 by 2 is nothing but what? 2 by 4. See, we can simplify it. 1 by 2, no? 1 by 2. Okay. See? 1 by 2. 2 by 4 is nothing but what? 1 by 2 only. Okay, 1 by 2. Okay, 2 1s are 4, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s two are 4. 2 1s are 2, 2 2 are 4. So, in this way we can draw number line. Okay, see 4 by 4 is 1. So, if it is 4 by 4, this will be 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4, after that 4 by 4. Okay, so 2 by 4 is nothing but 1 by 2. Okay, if we simplify. So, that point is also over. Understood children, in this way you can locate the num fractions on the number line. 